Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite place for all things superhero, or should I say, super anti-hero. Today, we're diving deep into the blood-soaked, action-packed premiere of The Boys Season 4. If you thought Season 3 was wild, just wait until you hear what goes down in Episode 1, titled Department of Dirty Tricks. So, buckle up, because this recap is about to get as crazy as Homelander at a political rally. Season 4 kicks off with a bang on election night. The atmosphere is electric as presidential candidate Robert Singer and his running mate, Victoria Newman, are hosting a party. Newman is giving a speech to a jubilant crowd, but little does she know, our favorite anti-heroes are plotting her assassination just a few floors away. Kimiko, Mother's Milk, Frenchie, Huey, and Annie are ready to strike. But there's one problem, Butcher. Butcher is drunk, delusional, and hurling near the dumpsters. Not exactly the start you want for a high-stakes mission. Frenchie and Kimiko manage to find him, give him his disguise, and drag him along. However, it becomes clear that Butcher is too much of a liability, and Imim orders Frenchie and Kimiko to keep him out of the action. Homelander and Ryan Meanwhile, Homelander and his son Ryan are also attending the event. We first see Homelander in a surprisingly mundane situation using a urinal, examining a strand of gray pubic hair. Only in the boys, right? Homelander's twisted psyche is on full display as he tries to comfort Ryan about the crowd. He asks, Would you be scared of a bunch of cockroaches? Ryan, meekly. Yeah, Homelander's response is chilling. They're only humans, and toys for our amusement. This moment perfectly captures the deranged worldview that makes Homelander such a terrifying character. Assassination Attempt Back to the assassination plot. Frenchie and Kimiko make it into Newman's hotel room, ready to tamper with her eye drops. But things go horribly wrong when Zoe, Newman's daughter, walks in and alerts security. What follows is pure nightmare fuel. Zoe unveils her new soup abilities, sprouting sharp toothed tentacles from her mouth and devouring the faces of the security men. It's gory, it's intense, and it's everything we love about the boys. Kimiko loses an arm in the scuffle, and the team barely escapes with their lives. Annie manages to catch Frenchie, but Kimiko's slow regenerating baby hand means she face plants onto the glass-coated concrete. Ouch. Political machinations at the CIA. After the botched assassination, Butcher and M.M. head to CIA headquarters to meet with Grace Mallory. Butcher is barred from the meeting, leaving M.M. to learn the shocking truth. Presidential candidate Singer has been conspiring with the CIA and the boys against Newman. They have until January 6 to take her out before she can explode Singer's hat, too. The political stakes have never been higher. Outside the meeting, Butcher reconnects with Joe Kessler, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Their interaction hints at a deep, complicated history and sets up Kessler as a key player this season. Homelander's Control At Vought Tower, we see more of Homelander's reign of terror. The Deep denies the claims and his ex-wives tell all book about an affair with an octopus named Ambrosius. During a meeting, Ashley Barrett discusses recruiting new members to the Seven, including Talon, Hyperion, Dognaught, Wrangler, and Sister Sage. A train reveals he previously worked with Sister Sage, the world's smartest person. Black Noir is somehow back, despite being dismembered. Homelander's disgust with his team is palpable. To prove a point, he orders the Deep to perform a lewd sex act on a train, stopping only when he sees their willingness to do anything he commands. It's a disturbing power play that shows just how far Homelander's control extends. If you're loving this recap and don't want to miss out on any future episodes, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming next as we continue to unpack the madness of the boys. The boys' internal struggles. Back at their office, tensions run high among the boys. Huey rejects a call from his father adding to his emotional turmoil. Annie and Mother's Milk try to convince Huey to cut Butcher loose, but he refuses. 
Butcher, meanwhile, discreetly meets with Newman at an abandoned Vought video store. They discuss a truce. Butcher wants to get Ryan back, offering Newman CIA protection from Homelander and destroying Huey's material on her from the Red River Group home in return. It's a tense, uneasy alliance that could go either way. Family drama and conspiracy theories. Then gets a call from his ex-wife Monique, who tells him that their daughter, Janine, has been acting up ever since her stepdad Todd disappeared into pro-Homelander conspiracies. Reluctantly agrees to find Todd. This subplot adds a deeply personal layer to M.M.'s character, highlighting the real-world consequences of the show's broader political themes. Homelander's Manipulations Homelander, disguised as a civilian, visits Sister Sage at her home. He tests her powers and opens up about his feelings of meaninglessness. Sister Sage's manipulative advice to incite civil unrest and let humans kill each other hints at a dark, anarchic future. Homelander invites her to join the Seven, and she reluctantly agrees. This partnership is bound to cause even more chaos. Emotional reunions and revelations. Huey rushes to the hospital after learning his father had a stroke. There, he listens to his father's voicemail and is interrupted by his estranged mother, adding another layer of emotional complexity to his character. Meanwhile, at Starlight's house for at-risk teens, we meet Annie's associate Colin, who Frenchie recommended. Kimiko starts to suspect Frenchie has feelings for Colin after watching their interaction. This subplot adds a touch of romance and jealousy, providing a brief respite from the show's darker themes. Butcher's Hallucinations The episode concludes with several bombshells. Ryan confesses to Homelander that he still cares about Butcher and doesn't want him to die. The Deep has a bizarre, intimate conversation with his octopus lover Ambrosius, voiced by none other than Tilda Swinton. Frenchie is shown in bed with Colin, hinting at a new romance. Huey sits by his father's bedside, grappling with guilt over not picking up the phone. Butcher's hallucinations of his late wife Becker reveal his deep emotional scars and set the stage for future conflict. The episode ends with a shocking twist. Instead of sending critical information to Newman, Butcher sends her a lewd photo. Classic Butcher. The season 4 premiere of The Boys may not be as shocking and gross as past season openers, but it maintains the show's fiery, angry satire and sense of humor. Homelander continues to be a fascinating, terrifying character, and the political stakes have never been higher. With new alliances, terrifying enemies, and the ever-present threat of Homelander's reign of terror, this season promises to be the darkest and most politically charged yet. All right, now let's dive a bit deeper into some of the key themes and moments from this explosive premiere. First, let's talk about the political undercurrent. The show has always been a satire on modern politics, and this season is no different. The introduction of Robert Singer as a presidential candidate and his secret alliance with the CIA and the boys highlights the murky waters of political power plays. What do you guys think about this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And what about Homelander's continuing descent into madness? His manipulation of Ryan, his power plays with his team, it's all leading to something big. Do you think Ryan will eventually turn against Homelander? Or will he follow in his father's twisted footsteps? Let me know your theories in the comments below. Character Dynamics Let's shift gears and talk about the character dynamics this season. Butcher's struggle with his hallucinations of Becca is heart-wrenching. It shows a more vulnerable side to his otherwise tough exterior. Do you think Butcher's change of heart about sending the files to Newman signifies a potential redemption arc? Or is it just another layer of his complex personality? And speaking of complex characters, Moon's personal life is getting even more complicated. His daughter's acting out and the search for Todd add a deeply human element to the story. It's a reminder that, despite all the super-powered chaos, these characters are dealing with real-life issues. Frenchie and Kimiko Frenchie and Kimiko's relationship is also evolving. Kimiko's suspicion that Frenchie has feelings for Colin adds a new twist. 
We've seen their bond grow stronger over the seasons, and now we're seeing it tested in new ways. How do you think this will affect their dynamic moving forward? And let's not forget Kimiko's harrowing injury and her slow regeneration. The show never shies away from graphic details, and this scene was no exception. Sister Sage and Homelander Sister Sage is a new character who seems to have a significant impact on Homelander. Her advice to incite civil unrest is chilling. It's clear she's going to be a powerful and potentially dangerous addition to the Seven. Her introduction also hints at more internal conflicts within the team. How do you think her presence will change the dynamics of the Seven? Will she be able to control Homelander, or will she end up being another pawn in his game? The Deep and Ambrosius Now, let's talk about the Deep and his relationship with Ambrosius the Octopus. This subplot is both bizarre and darkly humorous, a perfect example of the show's unique tone. Tilda Swinton voicing Ambrosius is a genius move. It adds a level of surrealism that only the boys can pull off. What do you think is the future for the Deep and his cephalopod lover? Is it just a weird subplot? Or do you think it'll tie into the main narrative in a bigger way? Predictions and speculations Before we wrap up, let's do some predictions and speculations. With the stakes higher than ever, what do you think will happen next? Will Butcher find a way to save Ryan? Will Huey and Annie's relationship withstand the chaos around them? And what about Victoria Newman's next move now that she's vice president? The political intrigue is off the charts this season and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. That's it for today's recap and deep dive into The Boys Season 4 Episode 1. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow fans. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future recaps, reviews, and theories. I've got a lot more content planned, and you won't want to miss a single episode. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, stay safe, stay super, and keep fighting the good fight. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.